We're back with uh, Mama's Anderson here at Walla Walla Vintners, and I should mention we are in the uh, wine cellar, so if you hear an echo, yes, we're not throwing that in just for the heck of it. It really is a little bit echoey in here. But I think you'll be able to hear us uh, talk through the wines that uh, we're going to taste here. So, Miles, tell me about this first wine that we're going to taste. This first one is uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from Winrow Vineyard, mm -hmm. which was planted in 1980. Okay. We have been uh, using grapes from this particular vineyard for about 19, 20 years. Mm -hmm. It's one of my very favorite uh, Cabernet vineyards from Walla Walla Valley. Right. And it, uh, it's in a, in a site that doesn't seem to freeze out during bad weather events. Okay. So, uh, and this one usually always has a cherry pip claw. Right. And then also, these are out of the barrel. You just use the thief, uh, yeah. this thief to, uh, to get them out of the barrel. So they're not bottled yet, of course. Right. And what's the vintage? This is uh, 2011. 2011. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's see what we have here. Okay. I, I, the fruit is right there. Yes, it's, it's always available. Yeah. Mm, absolutely. And how long has this been in the barrel at this point? This, this was put in the barrel uh, uh, at late October of, of a year ago. Right. And how much longer will it and stay? So it'll be, it'll be in barrel for probably about 18 months. Okay. And then we'll bottle it. And yeah. then we'll do some bottle aging for about three to six months before releasing it. And what is your barrel program here? Walla Walla Vintners, what, what do you mainly use for barrels? Well, the interesting thing is that we do a, we use a variety of them because we like the different uh, flavor contributions that each oak provides mm -hmm. to our wines. Right. So we have uh, the, the Cabernets that we're tasting this morning are coming from French oak barrels. Okay. And we usually try to get uh, five different uh, forests of French oak in our barrels here. Mm -hmm. And we use American oak from Missouri and Pennsylvania, even Oregon. Oh, okay. And uh, Minnesota and West Virginia. And we also have oaks from two forests in Hungary. Right. So American oak um, is used for which varieties here at the property? We primarily use Merlot for uh, s some of our Merlot. Right. And some of... Uh, our Cabernet Franc. Okay. And our Cabernet Franc is also uh, uh, put in Hungarian oak barrels. Right, right. Um, this next wine, tell us about this one. The next one is uh, from our estate here. It's called the Yellow Bird Estate, and mm -hmm. it's Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. Uh, and it's Clone Six. Right. And the personality, as you know it, of this, this guy? Well, this one is. Well, this one usually has a lot of pepper in it. Oh, okay. It's a very interesting Cabernet. All right. And I don't think you'll find any other Cabernet anywhere that you taste that is like this one. So let's try it this morning and see how it is. Absolutely, yeah. You're spot on. Black pepper. Yeah, yeah. Lots of yeah. black pepper. Will any of these be going into a blend, or will you be bottling these as 100% Cabernet Sauvignon? Well, the, the two estate wines, we're, we're going to probably keep them as estate wines, mm -hmm. and they'll be released to uh, our wine club members. Right. Since we just have a small amount of it, and it'll be released to them. Mm -hmm. And the Winrow will go into the Walla Walla Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. Right. Which is a distinctive... Uh, Cabernet that we make from three different vineyards mm -hmm. of Cabernet, and then we usually add a little Petit Verdot, uh, some Merlot, and some Cabernet Franc from the valley, and end it uh, with uh, some Carbonara. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Um, so, all your wines come from estate vineyards. Or do you purchase no, we, as well? Yeah, we purchase from 14 different vineyards. Oh, we I have see. been sourcing Besides for 17 years. Yeah. Right. right. And as this vineyard becomes more mature, it will probably produce about 45% of the, the wines that we'll make. Mm -hmm. And then we will continue to uh, source grapes from other distinguished vineyards in Walla Walla Valley and the Columbia Valley. Okay, great. Let's go to the third wine, which I believe is a reserve. 
This one is clone four and clone six from our vineyard here. Okay, got it. And, you know, reserve is an interesting word in the wine business. Uh, tell us how you define it for, for this well, purpose. We, well, we don't use the word reserve simply because it's a loosey-goosey term. <laughs> and it can mean anything. Right. And so the best word that we use to describe our wines that are very distinctive and very special is select. Got select. it, got it, okay. And it's usually a vineyard select. Right. So when this is in the bottle, uh, what will it be called exactly? This will probably be called uh, Cabernet Sauvignon Vintners Select Vineyard. Got it. Got it. And it's two clones, six and four. Yes. Out of Cabernet Sauvignon. I would say the first word that comes to mind is opulent. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, yes. And how much longer will this be in the barrel? This will be in barrel until it's about 19 months old. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we'll pull it out, bottle it, bottle age it. Yeah, I, I will tell you that um, the oak in these wines at this point, and maybe that will change, but maybe not, it, it, it's really subtle. Um, it's, you know, you really can't, I mean, it's, it's doing what oak should do, and that's provide some structure and backbone to the wine, not overtake it. Yes. And you can't really tell that these have been in oak except for the fact they're that they've got body and, and structure, so it's kind of a nice, and that's the French oak that, that you're using on these. Correct. Right, exactly. Where American oak would impart a little bit of a stronger attack on, on the wine. I, I think that's correct, yes. And we try to be subtle about our, our wood, mm -hmm. and that we want to express the grape and the site where it was grown. Okay. So, two, two final things I want to talk to you about. One is, um, the educational side of you that you're working on here. And, and tell us again, what, what is that with the, with the college? What do you do? Well, I'm the director of the Center for Enology and Viticulture. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, uh, we educate uh, viticulturists and uh, winemakers. Right. It's a degree as well as a professional certificate program. Mm -hmm. And we uh, have had uh, over uh, 3,000 people come right. and take uh, industry-focused courses. Mm -hmm. In fact, as we speak, there's one taking place right now right. on pre-harvest um, pre seminar mm -hmm. for winemakers that are here so that they can gear up for the, for the new vintage that's going to be just around the corner. Exactly. And our students uh, make uh, sparkling wine, four to five wines, several reds, several As reds. part of the class. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and they make a lot of the winemaking decisions. Mm -hmm. And we've had a number of students who have graduated and created their own wineries. So the reason why we put it together is to maintain high quality of winemaking in, uh, in Walla Walla. Mm -hmm. uh, Gordy Veneri, my partner, and I, we, we learn winemaking on our own. And we learn most of our knowledge about winemaking from mistakes. Right. And many of them went to the landfill after that. Exactly. And so to tr we don't want other people to learn how to make wine that way. Absolutely. We want to <laughs> learn how to make wine. Well, that wine makes you a really good teacher way. because yeah. you know all the things not to do. Yeah. And then the last thing I want to talk to you about is uh, this 2012 uh, harvest and, and vintage and how it's developing. And from what I'm hearing, uh, everybody's really happy this year in Washington State, the way that things are developing. Can you yes, speak to that a little bit? That's very true. Uh, we've had freezes the last couple of years, which uh, devastated a number of our vineyards. We had to cut them back. Mm -hmm. This year, we have some of the best grapes we've ever had in right. the valley. Right. And uh, it's been a very hot summer, and uh, which uh, means that the grapes are going to be very ripe mm -hmm. and delicious. At the end, we're going to have some control about when we can bring the grapes in rather than have to bring them in uh, very, very late because we're not getting enough sunshine and enough heat. Right. We're getting all of those elements. So this is, uh, uh, the wine gods have been really good to us in terms of weather here. Wonderful. Miles, thank you so much for spending time with us this morning. Pleasure meeting you. Yes, nice to have you.